is he? Did he stand me up? No. No. He wouldn't have. There's no way. He liked me, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh god, what if he didn't like me? No, can't think like that. He likes me. And we set up a date. And he's going to meet me soon. I just have to... <gasps> oh! <sighs> Don't sneak up on someone like that. He almost gave me a heart attack. Don't smirk like that. Being that quiet on your feet is just plain rude. And what took you so long anyway? I've been waiting for you for ages. Uh, five minutes? Early. Uh, you know what? Uh, ne never mind. Let's just go inside, shall we? So, fa- Oh. N no, I, uh, I, I just realized I, I don't even know your name. You, you never told me. I've just been calling you Fangs in my head. Am I going on a date without knowing your name? I, I mean, yeah. I guess it never came up. Still, making me question my decision-making skills. Okay, yeah. A blind date. I can think of it like that. A blind date, except that I already know that I'm gonna like the guy that I'm going on a date with. Th that works. What? Oh, is that your name? Wait, really? It, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's not a bad name. It just... Oh, it doesn't really fit you. Sorry. Sorry, that was rude. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. I have this bad habit of... Hmm? Like what? <laughs> well... Okay then. Fangs. And... Uh, let's treat this like a real blind date, shall we? I'm Dreamy. Lovely to meet you. Oh, menus, thank you. Uh, I think I'm okay with water. How about you? Yeah. Probably best to stay sober tonight. We're fine for now, thanks. So... Uh, what's it like? Being a... Wait. No, we can't talk about that here. What if somebody overhears? There's so many people around, of course someone would hear. Oh, well, that's true. I don't know what people at the table next to us are talking about. What, what if somebody's eavesdropping? People will really be that oblivious? Wow. I guess that explains how an entire world stayed hidden all this time. If no one wants to believe in it, it just kind of... isn't there. So, being a vampire... I, I know I asked a lot of questions before, but... What is it actually like? Like, how does it feel? It has to be different from being human, right? It really feels like all of that. That's amazing, I... Oh. 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 
Well... All right. Maybe amazing wasn't the right word. Thank you for telling me that, though. You looked like you needed to get that off your chest. All right, I, I can't wait any longer. I haven't been able to stop thinking about the things you said before. Wizards? You said there are wizards? Does that mean humans can do magic? Oh, wow. Does that mean... Does that mean... I could? Oh. Well. There's a whole slew of childhood dreams back down the drain. No. Don't be sorry, it's not your fault I wasn't born with magic powers. I'm just... Grateful to you for telling me about it. So what else is out there? You mentioned demons, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot of different things. Wait, dragons? <gasps> dragons are real? Have you ever met one? That's sad. Absolutely I do. Dragons are awesome. <gasps> yeah, of course they... I, I mean... No, no, nowhere near as awesome as vampires. I mean, you guys are cut about the rest. The way you whoosh around at hyperspeed and... Um, turn into bats? Inspirational. What do you mean you can't turn into a bat? That's like the most useful power. Y you could fly. All right. I guess the law of conservation of masses is pretty hard to circumvent. What? What am I dying to ask? No, I'm not gonna ask if you sparkle. What am I, like, 14? Please. Good. Now, tell me more about wizards. I wanna know everything human magic can do. You don't have to be an expert to know more than I do. I'll be happy with anything you can share. Oh, wow. Well. That sounds incredible. People can really do all that? Do you know any wizards? Can you introduce me? Oh, well, it, sure. They're protocols, but we can deal with that. My god, I can meet a wizard, I can meet a wizard, and then I can meet other supernatural beings, maybe even see a dragon, and fangs, it would be you who did all of this for me. Uh, uh all right, wait. Is something wrong? You just look kind of... off. Like something's wrong, but you don't want to talk about it. What is it? No, it's not nothing. Whatever you're feeling, it's not nothing. Well, you were fine earlier. Something's changed around when I started asking about magic. Oh. That's what it is. No. Uh, I, I know you're fine with explaining that stuff, but that's not all you want to do, is it? Oh, I'm dumb. I was focused on the fact that you're a vampire, and I forgot the fact that you're... you. 
a person, not a font of knowledge or curiosity. I must seem like a real jerk right now, huh? Like, I only want to talk to you because you're a vampire. Well, not anymore. Nope, no more supernatural stuff tonight. This is a date, and I want to act like it. So, small talk. <laughs> no, that isn't worse. Look, I'm not the best at it either, but come on. It's a time-honored first date ritual. There has to be something to it, right? Here, I'll start. What's your favorite color? All right. <laughs> I probably could have guessed red. Mine's blue. It reminds me of the ocean. Now you ask a question. Oh, good one. I'm not sure what my favorite type of music is. Is it too much of a cliche to say country? Oh, really? I'm not sure if I listen to anything like that. Any songs you particularly recommend? I'll definitely check that out then. And see? This small talk thing is easy. You just have to have fun with it. What's your favorite book? Yes! I love that series. It's one of my all-time faves. You have very good taste. I know, right? You can't even hate the bad characters because everyone's so well-written. And the climax of the second book, I mean, it's pretentious to say life-changing, but it stays with you. I couldn't stop crying for three hours. Three hours. And you're telling me that wasn't the best part of the series. Uh, all right. I can concede that the third book was indeed spectacular. But. Oh, yes. I think we're ready to order. You're ready, right? Oh, that sounds good. Uh, I'll have the salmon. And can I get a side salad with that? I think that's it for now. Thank you. Hmm? I mean, I don't know. How do you think this night is going to end? I... I have. Like what? No. I, I, I was staying sober because... Because it's our first date. <laughs> yeah, you don't get drunk on a first date. Everyone knows that. Really? I ordered foods that are good for recovering blood, huh? Uh... Ah, how interesting. I didn't even know that there were foods that could do that. Why don't you tell me some more about that? What? No. <laughs> I didn't even consider you biting me. Why would I have thought of that at all? No. It's not okay. B because... This is the night that we're just... People. Going on a date. 
Nothing supernatural about it. I need to prove that I don't just like you because you're a vampire. But I do feel like I do. I don't want this to be only about one thing, and I definitely don't want to be weird about the fact that you have fangs. Are you sure? It's not weird that I was thinking about it. It doesn't feel wrong or like I'm being presumptuous or anything. Okay. Okay, that's good. So... Is that how this night's going to end? Because I wouldn't have any objection to that. If, if you need a drink, you need a drink. <laughs> well, no. It hasn't been very long, but long enough for you to get hungry, surely. And long enough that it wouldn't hurt me to take more. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to stay on that starvation diet. We both know it isn't good for you. You didn't hurt me, did you? And that was when you were on the verge of death. What makes you think you'd hurt anyone at all if you were less hungry? So you won't be moved on this at all? You're, you're just gonna keep starving yourself and raiding blood banks? No, I understand. I don't agree, but I understand. And I can promise right now that however you want to do this, I will be here for you. Not that well, no. But I know you well enough to know that I want to be there. And I know that I want to get to know you better. That makes me really happy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, <laughs> calm down, Romeo. There's no need for pickup lines. No matter how smooth the delivery, we're already on a date. <laughs> you know what? You're right. Let's make it a date to remember. All right, all right, enough with the cheesy lines. You've already got into my bed once, remember? And now that made your eyes glow. Fond memories of being a teddy bear? Wait, what do you mean my next turn on? What's that supposed to be? Fangs? What do you mean by that? That is not reassuring. <laughs> oh, Lord. What have I gotten myself into? Mm. Hey, guys. Thank you once again. Uh, special thanks go out today to Stormcoming for bringing me this fabulous character. It is nice to play the bitten instead of the biter on occasion. And, ooh, speaking of bitten, <laughs> uh, for those of you on my Patreon, go ahead and check out the spicy tier and up. We've got a new audio out for you from the flirty vampire when she gets a little bit spicy and less sweet. Not even just a little bit. Mm. 
Anyway, <laughs> for those of you who are not in my Patreon, if you want to find out what happens to my characters after the sweet little story ends and where it picks up, uh, you can always join me over on my Patreon for those things that are not exactly YouTube friendly. Uh, there you can get access to ad-free episodes and patron shoutouts and exclusive content, the spicy content. Uh, you get access to my private Discord community and voting power on some of the upcoming videos and ads and images and what have you. Uh, also, merch coming out. Uh, I'll be doing a live chat on a regu regular basis, and for those of you who are really interested, I can even do an exclusive custom recording commissioned just for you. So, check it out and come hang out with all the cool kids on my private Discord. That one is only available to my patrons on my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Also, special thanks go to the people who gave me their super thanks. Uh, Dan Ganning fan 2846, thank you ever so much once again. And Terrifiger, which I love that name, and it was very nice meeting you in the ASMR roleplay Discord. Um, I don't get over there as often as I would like to, but it was nice seeing you and getting to meet you there. Thank you, both of you. And of course, I have to thank my patrons, Mario Amaro, Benedict Nine, Ironhead 333, Nick Roberts, Cody, Nachtwahia, Emperor of Mankind, Skull, Yuri Boygon, We Beg Goy Epic, Mike, Fit External, Cherry Was Script, Art Low, Vicious Rowan, Jules, Solitary Surreal, Pierce the Heavens, A Red Bow, Jacketeer, Adrian Hasslinger, Jake C., that one other Jake, D.M. Bellamy, Tonberry Shuffle, Christian Kuleopa'a, Jack H., and Marius Darkwolf. Thank you all so much, my lovelies. And thank you to everyone who listens and likes and shares and subscribes and comments. I appreciate all of you. Now, go have a great day, and be as kind to yourselves as you are to me. I will talk to you tomorrow.